is the recently upgraded tonal plexus for the Berkeley School of Music. It's got new chips in there, new firmware. The sides are now red instead of black. And it's got uh, new panels over the keys. The old panels were made out of pretty thin material and were very flexible. So there are some problems with uh, the tops that warped on the early keyboards. So this has been replaced with a thicker material that's more rigid. So we don't have that problem anymore. Also, you can see here, now the screws are all flush into these finishing strips. So it just gives it a little bit cleaner look. Just for comparison here, I have an older keyboard of the same color where the sides are black and the screws are not flush into the finishing strips. So, new one, new one with the red sides and old one. So before I send this on its way, I want to show you something about dominant seventh chords and just intonation. Here's a dominant seventh chord on C. In equal temperament, it sounds like this. Just intonation. Okay, in, in just intonation, the tritone here between the, the third and the seventh, when you invert it, the shape changes. You're going to see the shape move. So here we have a third here and a seventh here. Here we have a, a seventh here and a third here. So I'll show you how the chords work. Root, third, fifth, seventh. Now this becomes the seventh. We're going to have fifth, seventh, root, third. So. Now the other way to do it is to keep the seventh as a common tone so that this becomes that. So one or the other can be kept as a common tone, but not both, the way it can in equal temperament. So you get these modulating effects.